What's going on guys? Greggles TV. I'm going to give you my top 10 essential tips and tricks for the Galaxy Note 7. The first one is running two windows at once. What you do is hit your recent apps button at the bottom left. It's that button to the left of your home button. And then any window that you have in here that has uh, one of those two little uh, stacks right here, you can see this app does as well as this app. Just tap that where the little stack is and then it opens on half the page. And then on the bottom half here, you find another app. The, all these apps can be run as well. So not all your apps will be able to run in multi-window. So I'll just choose the Play Store. So you can see I'm using two apps at once. And you can make one bigger or smaller than the other. Just click and drag that little circle. It's right there in the middle. So I can make Instagram bigger if I wanted to, or I can, uh, make go back and make uh, Google Play Store bigger. So it's a really cool and easy way to run two apps at once. My number two is taking a screenshot. Now taking a screenshot is very similar to the way you do with the iPhones. So all you do is put one finger on the power button, the other one on the home button, and you're gonna press and hold those at the same time. One, two, and you do it until it does that little feature right there and I'll show you that the screenshot took so let's go into my gallery and here's my gallery just to show you that it did take the screenshot so you have to see that animation go back and forth like that so that you know that it took a screenshot next up is themes themes allow you to change the colors the icons everything about the way your phone looks so what you do is swipe down from the top and go to settings once you're in settings, you'll see wallpapers and themes go there. And then go to themes at the top here. And right here, you'll see all your themes. If you want to uh, view any that you've had downloaded, I only have one here. Or you can go down here and say more recommended content. Now, once you are in here, you can download other themes. There's paid ones and free ones, and there's a lot of them. So you can see it gives you a little preview of these. So if you like any of these, so say you wanted to use uh, this one right here, you'd click on it and you can take look at screenshots of what it looks like. And then say you decide to use it, all you do is hit download and you can see it's installing as well after it downloads. And then you just click apply. And then once it's done applying, it automatically goes back to your home screen. You can see everything looks different. When I swipe down from the top, this is all themed up. So themes are a great, and easy way to change the look of your phone if you want to. It changes everything. If you use a Samsung messaging app, it changes that. It changes your dialer. You can see my dialer is different. It's a very cool and easy way to make your phone look different. As you know, you have your notification panel. So when you swipe down from the top, you have all these different quick settings. If you want to move these around, all you got to do is press and hold on it and then just drag it to wherever you want and it'll stay. Any of these, move them wherever you want. If you want some at the top and then some at the bottom, wherever you want them, that's a quick and easy way to move some of your quick settings. And then once you're done dragging it, just make sure to save it, you hit done in the top right. This next tip allows you to read your phone. If you're straining your eyes too much or reading it at night, best thing to do is swipe down from the top and you will see the blue light filter. Now, if you press that, it's going to change the way your screen looks. So if you see it looks really white right now, I'm going to press it. It's going to get a little more yellow. So you see it's more yellow now. This is going to put less strain on your eyes when you're reading so that it doesn't bother them. So that's a quick and easy way if you want to have your eyes be relaxed at night, especially. And then when you're done, just swipe back down and turn it off. A super quick way to get to your camera without having to find the app for it. Just double tap that home button and it will launch the camera. And you can do that from anywhere. If your screen's off, double tap it, it goes right into the camera. So double tap that home button to get to the camera as quick as possible. One of the cool things about this phone that differentiates it from the Galaxy S7 Edge is it has HDR video. Now you wanna turn this on if you haven't already. So to make sure that it's turned on, swipe down from the top, click the settings in the top right, and then go down to advanced features, once in here, you want to make sure that video enhancer is on. Now you can see, you can enhance the image 
and sound quality of your videos to enjoy brighter and more vivid colors and a clearer sound. So make sure you have this turned on because it's gonna make your videos look so much better. It works with all these apps uh, so far. These are all the apps that I have installed. So make sure you turn that on. So if you're coming from an iPhone or even if you didn't know this, you can actually search for anything on your phone just like you can with an iPhone by swiping down from the top and you can do this with Google too if you have a Google search on here but ultimately you have it built right in and you'll see search device at the very bottom when you swipe down from the top you'll see search device you can either click that microphone and say it or you can type it so what I'm gonna do is gonna search for everything that has Michelle in it Michelle's my wife's name so I'm gonna hit Michelle so you can see it brings up everything. Some of this stuff is blurred out, obviously, because I'm keeping it private, but it brings up her birthday, brings up any contacts that have Michelle's name, uh, brings up phone information, uh, Google Play Music, if I have any uh, uh, playlists with her name in it, or any songs. Uh, it brings up our text messages. Uh, it brings up, or I can also web search at the bottom. So it's a great and easy way to find anything. You can type apps in here if you're looking for an app, whatever it is, it's a really easy way to search for things. So you do, as you know, have the S Pen. S Pen does a lot of cool stuff, especially when you pull it out. The menu pops up so you can do different things. One of the cool things you can do with this is capturing a GIF, and a GIF's an animated photo uh, of a video. So what you do is press on Smart Select, and what we're gonna do is open an app like YouTube, something that plays videos. And you can do this with Instagram, anything that has a moving photo, you can do this, or moving video, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna search one of my videos. So now that I have my video selected, all I gotta do is press on this over here, and it brings up my menu. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Smart Select, and then I'm gonna hit Animation, and I can drag this to wherever I want, and I can make it high quality, or standard quality and once it starts going all I got to do is you can make it bigger too if you want so what I'm gonna do is hit record and you can see it's capturing all these frames when I'm done I'm gonna hit stop and you can see it captured an animation of me talking it doesn't capture the sound, it just captures the video. So it's a quick and easy way to capture a cool little video. And from here, you can draw on it, you can share it, or you can just save it plainly. So I'm just gonna hit save. And there you go, it gets right out of the app and goes to the next one. And lastly, one of the other cool things about this phone is it has expandable storage. You can put a micro SD card in up to 256 gigabytes and store things on it like music, movies, and games. And all you do is just insert it up here with the SIM card, pop that out, and then pop it in. So once it's inserted, just make sure there are some apps where you can store things on your micro SD card, like your camera. So once inside your camera, if you wanna make sure that your files are saving to your SD card, hit the settings in the top right, and then work your way towards the bottom. And right where it says storage location, click on that and make sure it already says SD card. If it doesn't, click on that and tap SD card and the files will save there. Another cool app that you can save your files, and this works with Apple Music as well, is Spotify. So open up Spotify and go into settings. Now when I work my way towards the bottom, you'll see storage. Choose where you want to store your music data. I'm going to choose SD card. It's as simple as that. It'll even move your music over from the phone storage over to the SD card so it doesn't use any of that up. So make sure you check your settings inside of the app, especially with music, movies, apps, those kind of apps, photo apps, to make sure that it's saving on the SD card. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. If you have any quick tips and tricks, leave those down below as well. I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.